Welcome back. We're continuing with our coverage of the statewide band which has been called in Karnataka. There's some breaking news coming in on that note. We're learning that the DG and IGP Alok Mohan and the Megaluru Commissioner Dayanand has met with the Chief Minister Sidharamaya at his residence in Bengaluru to provide all of the details related to today's law and order situation. Remember, throughout the day, the protests had essentially began at around 6 a.m. But throughout the day, we continuously be getting shots of protesters getting detained. We're crossing over to CNN News 18's Ritu to tell us more about this. Ritu, over to you. Ritu, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. So we're learning that the DG and the IGP uh, and the Bengaluru Commissioner, they've uh, essentially met with the Chief Minister Sidramaya. Can you tell us more about the meeting? Can you hear me? We can hear you. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Come again. Could you, could you tell us about the meeting that's taking place at Sidramaya's yeah. residence? You know what we are doing for the time is that you see, I have to get to the All right, there seems to be a bit of an audio issue with Ritu's connection. We'll try to re-establish that connection in a bit. For right now, we'll cross over to CNN News 18's Aksha, who remains on the ground covering the protests. Uh, Aksha, do you by any chance have any information on this meeting at uh, Sidharamaya's residence? <laughs> who have intensified their protests. Uh, uh, there are various broken organizations who are gathering here and, uh, and uh, 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 every passing hour uh, the protests are in intensifying here and more and more number of people from the Prokhana organizations have started gathering here and uh, more and more people are yet to arrive at this particular protest site. Yes, as we are speaking, the protests are only escalating against the state government. Uh, so the, uh, the police are also trying to bring the situation under control here. Uh, just a couple of minutes back, they tried to burn the uh, banner of the Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin, which was garlanded by sandals and, uh, the, and the, immediately the police rushed here and uh, they put water at this particular uh, the banner that was being burnt. They tried to bring the situation under control here, but we have various Prokhana organizations who are staging different protests here. Uh, yes, the protests are only escalating and uh, we have to wait on those domain uh, uh, talks that are going to be held with Kannada Chief Minister and the former output uh, leader at the very same time at around 12.30 p.m. today. But the protests are only uh, intensifying here in the state of Karnataka across various district as well. And especially uh, in the city of Bengaluru, we have more and more number of pro-Canada organizations who are arriving at the front and uh, staging a protest against the, uh, against the release of Kaveri water to the neighboring state of Tamil Nadu. We also will, all, we also will have Aam Admi Party who will be lending their support. The BJP workers and the JDS workers who have lent their support are uh, uh, probably arriving here at the Freedom Park and, uh, and upscaling the protests, joining hands with the Prokhana organizations uh, in their protest against the state government. has allotted certain protest sites for protesters to be at so that they can protest peacefully. Uh, when it comes to the visuals that have been coming in throughout the day, multiple protesters are getting detained and they're being brought to those protest sites. How many protest sites have been allotted by the state government so that peaceful protests can be conducted? <laughs> Here, Freedom Park in Bengaluru. Uh, during the BJP's tenure, they are confined the protesters. Uh, Freedom Park usually protests used to uh, take place at the Massive Bank Circle and Murphy uh, Circle. But uh, right now, uh, the protests are only confined to Freedom Park. We have here uh, as much as more, hundreds and hundreds of people gathered here at Freedom Park. Uh, pro Canada organizations uh, like Jai Karnataka, Karnataka, Rakhita, and uh, various other farmer outfit leaders. Uh, remember, farmers from Mandi and Mandi are coming here, uh, here in Bangalore and staging the protest. I want to send out a message to the state government that they, uh, they do not have the state government releasing Kaveri water to the neighboring state of Tamil Nadu. And many protests are taking place here. So what you are seeing here is uh, you know, uh, the protest members are, uh, have kept empty pots uh, where they have written uh, the inefficient government is releasing the state, uh, Kaveri water to the neighboring state of Tamil Nadu. And uh, they are condemning the, the Karnataka state government's move in the, releasing Kaveri water to the neighboring state 
ऑफ तमिलनाडु रिक्वेस्टिंग दी प्रोग्राम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कांग्रेस गवर्नमेंट विच इज इन पावर इन द स्टेट ऑफ कर्नाटका और द बीजेपी विच इज इन अपोजिशन Absolutely, Akshay. Do stay with us. We'll just give our viewers a bit more context into this entire row that's taking place, the protests, and the state ban that's taking place. Remember, just a few days ago, it was not a statewide ban; it was a Bengaluru ban that was taking place. But this entire dispute has been going on since the early 1800s. Uh, but we're going to focus on today and what's taking place on the statewide ban. Uh, Akshay, so when we come to you about the protests that are taking place, you've been able to give us a lot of details about what's been open, what's what remains open, what remains closed. uh what the situation is like when it comes to section 144 as well what are the specific areas where section 144 has been imposed well you see in bengaluru city uh the, in bengaluru city the whole of city the section 144 is and is being enforced tight police security has been deployed across the parts of the city and also in the hyper sensitive regions as well more security has been deployed and in regions where tamil tamilians and tamil nadu people reside there also more security has been deployed by the police officials to ensure that uh, uh, the peace and tranquility of the bengaluru state is, bengaluru city is not being disturbed and in various other districts of karnataka as well uh, police uh, tight police security has been maintained and especially in the karnataka tamil nadu uh, border region of ati bele there also a uh, few of the protesters try to block the vehicles from tamil Now, there are also tight police security has been uh, deployed to ensure that there is a smooth vehicular movement in that particular region. And the various pro-government organizations, as I pointed out, not just here in Bengaluru, but in the districts of Chikmagalur, Bidar, Daungere, Chitradurga, uh, the, they are also facing protests. They are they are intensifying the protests. Uh, and uh, today here in Bengaluru, all the Uber services will not be available. Many commercial establishments, uh, such as malls and other uh, roadside shops and other various other commercial establishments, uh, have been shut down. Uh, yesterday itself, the pro-government organization. organizations uh, you know they did a thorough of sorts of chat of sorts where they visited all the main commercial establishments malls and theaters as well and requested them to lend their support to ensure that this particular karnataka band was successful the bangalore band on september 26 was successful and 